It's now time to run the actual VAT return itself and we do that by clicking on the company module down at the bottom left. Then in the task box at the top left here you'll see manage VAT. Click on that and you'll get the VAT module up here which is a list of your VAT returns and some icons at the top here. Now to run the VAT return, click the VAT return icon, the first icon at the top left. Enter the period. So like I said, we're doing February. It's the 1st of February 2013 to April. It's the 30th of April 2013. Once you've entered your quarter, the three months in those boxes, click calculate. You'll get a box appear that will say something like this, a certain number of transactions found for this VAT return. One of these or a number of these transactions are unreconciled and before the specified period. Do you want to include the unreconciled transactions? Click yes. What that box is referring to is there are transactions with VAT on, um, VAT codes on, that are before this period. So it could be transactions we put on Sage after we run the last VAT return. And obviously we want to put them on, they've just been put on late. So click yes and your figures will now appear. Um, now these are the figures of your return that you'll be familiar with. Your box is 1 to 9. If you have filed VAT returns before or you study VAT returns manually, these boxes will seem very familiar to you. Now if you click the print button, you can print or preview or save to file a VAT return, the VAT summary or detailed. We'll use preview for now. By the way, this VAT isn't saved yet and it won't be saved until we click reconcile we'll do that a bit later on. So let's look at the VAT return itself which will give us this box here in a hard copy format so the, v, the uh, box is 1 to 9, let's click run so here's the VAT return, once again if you have done VAT returns before you'll be familiar with these boxes if this box 5 is the VAT to be paid to HMRC or to be reclaimed with this VAT return it's to be reclaimed as it's a minus 329.63 so HMRC owes us 329.63 if there isn't a minus there then obviously it's the amount that is owed by you to HMRC now once a VAT return has been saved on Sage you can still access these reports and I'll show you how to do that in a minute but save one of these to file, print one off, it would be good to have a hard copy as well as an electronic copy. Once you're happy with the VAT return itself we'll then look at summary so tick summary and click run You'll then get a summary of those boxes 1 to 9 and what's in those boxes. Now I don't tend to use this summary report, I just use the VAT return to have a hard copy of the return itself and then I use this detailed. The reason I use the detailed report is it gives you a very detailed breakdown of the balance that appears in these boxes. So T1 or this box 1. VAT due in this period on sales 113770 is this figure here which is these two added together so it gives you a breakdown of how Sage has come to the figures on the VAT re return so this is VAT box 1 here's box 4 box 6 box 7 and there we go and you'll see that we have sales invoices and receipts for box 1 
purchase invoices and purchase credits for box 4 sales invoices and receipts again for box 6 and then purchase invoices and purchase credits for box 7 Now save an electronic copy of this but also print it off and you'll need to go through each and every one of these transactions to ensure that it is correct. You may have a, an account manager above you or you may have a finance director. They may want to view everything that's on that VAT return in detail before it's submitted to HMRC. So this is the best report to print off as it gives all the information of that return. So that may take a bit of time. This is just a demo return that I've done and it's three pages. It's likely yours will be a lot bigger than that. Um, a lot of returns I deal with are seven pages plus. So it can take a while to go through. So once you've printed them off or, or saved them, we then can click the reconcile button as long as we're ha happy with everything that's on the return. If we're not happy, and there are things that have been posted wrongly on Sage then there's a couple of ways of fixing things um, if you've taken my basic Sage training course you'll know that we can go into corrections and also make journal entries and we can do the same with the VAT return um, say we have something in box 1 here, it's a sales invoice, comes under sales invoice but it's a purchase invoice just take a note to the SAGE number, which is here. Go into Corrections. If Corrections is not showing, down the bottom left here, click this arrow. Click Add Buttons and click on Corrections. If it's not showing there either, go File, Maintenance, and then click on Corrections. Once you're in Corrections, you'll have this screen appear. Here are your numbers here, so you can scroll through find the trans Sage transaction number you wish to edit click edit or delete so we click edit and then we can edit information here if we click edit again there's even further information that we can edit if you don't want to scroll through and find time just click find find what put in the transaction number you wish to find it says search in transaction number, click find first and it will take you, take you to that transaction number. So I can put in 800 here, click find first, it takes me to transaction number 800.